Hello and welcome to Rolling with the Robsons. In this video we're going to talk about our best sites of 2018, our top 5 sites of where we've been. One of those was in France and four were in the north of England. Hopefully it'll give you a little bit of inspiration to think about places you want to visit next year. Even though we've ranked the sites from 1 down to 5, I wouldn't say that any of the sites are massively better than the others, they just have different things that we like about them. So in this video we're going to go through that. As usual, please subscribe down below and click the bell to get notifications when we put new videos on. Soon there will be one of this new beautiful van and also some other hints and tips about when we went down to France this year. Here is our number one site, Castel Parc de Fribois. This is um, about 30 to 40 kilometers south of Tours in the Loire Valley and it was our main site of the year. Now obviously we were going here on holiday, we were going to be here for 8 nights I think and we wanted to get a site on our first time in France, that was a little bit special, we probably spent a little bit more than we might do uh, this year in 2019 coming up and we wanted it to be a really special place. You can probably see from some of the school and pictures around here, the swimming pool was excellent, it had lots of little spaces, a little like had a child's area. It had a shallow area for our middle child who's uh, six, it had a slightly deeper area for the eight year old. It had some slides, some straight slides or fast slides as the girls called them. And it also had a twirly whirly or a wriggly jiggly slide depending on which door you talk to. That was a little bit different in there. It had a lovely bar next to it. I think it had a nice atmosphere because it was very family oriented. There was a kids disco, the girls like doing that. Um, and there was kind of lots of things you could buy there. It had a great shop. I mean, the shop obviously, as usual, and I was doing a more on our tour. The shop wasn't um, wasn't cheap, and and that's what you kind of expect. Um, we had a really good kids club where we could put our oldest one, who was eight at the time, and our middle daughter, who was six in, and they loved going to kids club. I uh, went there a couple of times all day. We wanted to have the children with us, so we didn't want them there all the time, but it was good to let them and us have a bit of a breather, and they would spend a bit more time with the younger one, uh, just being one and a half. Uh, one of the other good things that we got from it was we were on a premium pitch. Now I don't know if we're going to pay for that in 2019, that kind of style, but for us, some things that were really good, it came with table and chairs, we didn't have to take them, and it was a pot of table chairs, it had a little hut with a fridge freezer in, again it was great for us, because we could kind of, when we went to the supermarkets, we could buy it in, in more bulk, rather than to put it in the smaller uh, fridge that we have inside our caravan. So things that we probably didn't like quite as much, it was expensive, I personally think it was worth that. It had a lot of extras like it also had a big lake there as well. Um, the restaurant we weren't particularly impressed with, both the service and the general kind of uh, food that was served there. And I don't think there's anything else that we'd massively improve about it. It was just great having the different areas going on and having us very close to the uh, water area. And I think that was just a fluke really. Oh, lastly, one other good thing about it, it had the best toilets and that's a little bit of a weird one. The best toilet and facilities I'd been at any campsite. They were they were spotless and they were pretty new. Uh, I think that was one of the reasons my wife chose the site. So the website's there and it's also going to be down below in the comments section. Site number two. Uh, a couple of years ago, my, my dad passed away and uh, he lived over in Cumbria, um, over in West Cumbria. And we decided that a year after he passed away, we wanted to go somewhere near where uh, where we lived and visit that so we found this website here and this site is our number two is stanix park stanix park um really great facilities we went in uh, low seas we went in a february half term so it probably wasn't at its busiest but for us because it was going to be a bit cooler at that time of year we wanted a few extra bits and pieces so really good positives is it has the pool and a jacuzzi and the sauna, so great for the kids, even a little slide for the kids that they quite enjoyed. It had a uh, nice kind of food in there. Not the world's best, but I thought it was like decent food for the place it had. It had a nice outdoor park, and the kids quite enjoyed that. It had um, a ball alley, which you had to pay extra for, but again, it was something extra to do with the girls. It had some really good entertainment. I know it's not for everybody, but again, when it's freezing cold outside, it is good to have a little bit of entertainment to go to as well. 
So we really enjoyed it there and we definitely consider about going back there possibly next February half term again uh, on the anniversary. Number three, we have Otterton Park. We looked around for somewhere, um, I think it was like a late sort of booking and we couldn't find anywhere. Unfortunately for number three here we had a site called Otterton Park which... Um, which was kind of explained to us by a couple of people on our Facebook group for North East uh, Caravanners. So we went here thinking, well, you know, we'll go and see what it's like. And it was a beautiful, really lovely site, well kept. Again, we were quite looking at it. We were put pretty much next to the park. There was other children there playing. The weather was reasonable on the whole. It had some other little bits and pieces there. It also had a really good walk that wasn't too far but was enough to kind of get your legs going and you got some nice fresh air and it's not a million miles away from the East Coast Main Line so if you like a little bit of seeing the trains like my daughter just like seeing the trains go past they really enjoyed that. I think reasonably priced as well uh, not the cheapest but not the most expensive and, and somewhere that we could definitely consider going back to in the future. Number four. Number four for us was Wild Rose in Appleby. Now Appleby is uh, a lovely little village, so it's good to go into, and I think this has some great facilities. And if you're lucky and you book at the right time, you can get some really good deals. Wild Rose and Harrison's offer some deals on their, their pictures from time to time. So what we liked about the site was it has um, it has a bar, that's not the main reason, but the bar and pub was right next to where the kids' play area was. So we could kind of still see the children uh, from the window, and we could have a drink and sit in there, and be able to see what they were doing. Um, it had a pool. The pool isn't heated though, so even in the summer, it is pretty Baltic if you want to go in the pool. I, I wouldn't recommend it generally. The girls went in and came up about 30 seconds later. Um, it has a lot of facilities there. You can do other things. It has obviously quite a few statics there, and it has some of them kind of teepees that people are quite into. Again, locally, there's some little walks you could go to and, and, and visit round. Um, obviously, the Appleby itself was lovely, and there's lots of things to do because you're pretty much on the doorstep of the late district. So, again, something that we'd look into. It's a little bit further from the other sites, but still a really good site. Coming in at number five, Heatherwick Caravan Park. Now, I do think that this park here is a little bit understated. It is very... Uh, not very, but it is a little bit basic. There isn't a great deal there, but it's a really well kept and well looked after uh, site, I think, anyway. Prices wise, it's probably the most reasonable on the list here, which again, I think if you've got children, is quite a big thing because then if you go away and it's a little bit cheap and you're saving five to six pounds each time you go, one thing is you can spend it on the children while you are there. The other thing you can do is, if you kind of save those five and six pounds up, maybe for every so many trips, you might even get an extra night or a whole extra trip away by going somewhere a little cheaper. So it's um, about 10 minutes outside of Barna Castle. So you've obviously got Barna Castle to go into and have a never round and there's lots of lovely shops in there. You've got High Falls. You've got a few other little bits and pieces that can go around there as well. So that was a, a really lovely site. And if I'm honest... It's probably one of our favourite sites. It's just something about it. Uh, it was one of the first sites we ever went to with our caravan. And it, it just really um, resonates with us as a family. There's a lot of space. got a great kids' uh, park. One of the best kids' parks our children believe. Um, I mean, the, the shower facilities are a bit basic, but they're lovely. They're kept clean. They're well looked after. So that is our number five. <laughs> 